The practice for OSCE exam has officially started and um, today we are actually practicing gynecological examination with the boys, with my group. Here you can see some of the... Shafi right behind me having some delicious food. Is it Kabuli Plop? I'm gonna have some afterwards. <laughs> and I remember one of the vlogs you said um, biryani is the best. No, Pablo Palau is the best. You haven't, you haven't, you, you have no idea. idea. Nothing beats biryani. Period. Guys, so we are officially 105 days out 105 days before the first exam let's go so i just got done with the study session or like the oski practice session with the boys and now i'm in the library here trying to study for the rest of the evening the plan now is to study at least for four hours at least right now it's 3 30 pm 1 30 pm and i'll study till around mm -hmm. i think six or seven hopefully Let's see how much I can, how much work I can get done. Boom. Man, oh man, so it has been a pretty solid, productive day so far. Right now it's 9 p.m. I came home at 8 p.m. So I was at the uni till around 7.15 p.m. The day was insane. I woke up early. I woke up at like 6.30. And then I was at my university at 8.30 for a clinical group in pulmonology. And then after that, I had that group study session with my friends with my group uh, where we practiced like one, some OSCE skills, uh, like um, breast examination and um, gynecological examination. Once that was done at around 3 or like 1.30 p.m. After that, I sat down in the library and studied till like 7 p.m. for six hours. Um, and I was pretty effective I would say so we had two lectures today which I obviously as always did not attend uh, those lectures were about um, uh, fever without a specific or a clear cause um, and uh, endocarditis, endocarditis which is basically infection in the heart uh, and other infections in the heart like pericarditis and myocarditis uh, so I did those two three lectures and then after that I sat down and studied stroke because these days I've started to revise neurology from fourth year um, so there is a lot of stuff going on and then once that was done oh or in neurology I revised stroke you know brain stroke uh, that took around two two and a half hours easily uh, and then I came back home had some food and I'm actually having some gajar ka halwa for those of you if you're not Pakistani if you're not Indian you don't know what this is this is basically like a sweet dish made with carrots and some other stuff which I don't know because I don't cook halwas. I cook normally but I don't cook this kind of stuff. And this is mm, so delicious man. Mm, well deserved after a long day of studying. Ah, Now I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the day and um, maybe play some guitar. We'll see. Alright guys, so I took the day off from classes today, even though I have a full day of classes. Uh, but classes come and go, that happens every day. But what I'm about to do, do today does not really happen that often because I'm about to hold a talk for high school students. Uh, which is gonna be quite exciting because I honestly love public speaking. I love to engage with people. Um, I love to get questions and try and answer questions. So it's gonna be a good, different, unique experience honestly. Uh, I think it's going to be around 120 people going to be there, so I can already see some people coming, all these students. <laughs> so uh, right now I'm in the middle of Oslo, Oslo's downtown and what, we, what you see behind me, that is the university building. This is where I will be hopefully having my graduation ceremony if I pass all my exams in three months time. <coughs> 